Hi guys, welcome to Indoka. My name's Demi and today we're going to be talking about the cannabinoid CBN. So there's a lot of chat about cannabinoids in general. Obviously THC is the most famous one, then you have CBD, and now there's acid precursors that are coming into the mix. But what about CBN? What do we know so far about CBN? Well essentially, you're not going to find CBN in a raw natural plant. Essentially CBN comes from degradation of THC. The process starts when THC is exposed to oxygenation and UV light exposure. Essentially, you're not going to find any CBN in young cannabis plants that are yet to have flowers. Some people tend to think that CBN is a degraded or a less potent form of THC. However, it's not like that at all. CBN is now being looked at for its own medicinal benefits and what it can provide us medically. So how does CBN compare to CBD? CBD is found in cannabis and hemp plants and is thought to be the most prevalent cannabinoid. CBN, however, is more common to be found in cut cannabis plants that have started aging a little bit. CBN is psychoactive, so in the terms of CBD, it was also psychoactive. However, it's not psychotropic like THC. The main reason why CBN is considered psychoactive is because of its mild sedative effects. And current research into CBN is showing promising therapeutic potential. As we discussed before, CBN has powerful sedative qualities, considered the most powerful of all cannabinoids. A cannabis testing facility has reported that 2.5 to 5 milligrams of CBN is essentially equivalent to a mild pharmaceutical sedative, such as 5 to 10 milligrams of diazepam. Those studies to this cannabinoid are limited. The ones that do exist do show a variety of different applications. One such study showed CBN to be a powerful appetite stimulant, whereas CBD by comparison is more of a regulator of appetites and therefore has the potential to be used in combating things like obesity. Other benefits that are being discovered as research into CBN expands are positive effects on things such as pain, insomnia, inflammation and seizures. In addition, it seems that CBN also encourages the growth of bone cells. Many of these benefits can be attributed to both CBN and CBD. So CBD in general is more research and does at the moment have a wide variety of applications or potential applications. But the fact is that most Indoka extracts will have very, very low levels of CBN and obviously our high levels of CBD because we want to ensure that you get as wide a variety of cannabinoids as possible. As research progresses into this amazing plant, we don't doubt that there's going to be more and more discoveries when it comes to CBN, CVC, CBG, CBGA. We have over 100 cannabinoids. There's going to be so much amazing information that's going to start coming out soon. So stay tuned, and as soon as we have more information on a new interesting cannabinoid, you'll be the first to know. We'll see you for the next video. Bye.